Youth Runner here with uh, the ladies from uh, Buchanan back on top uh, in a place uh, where uh, they have showcased so much greatness uh, over many decades uh, here at the 45th ASICS Clovis uh, Invitational, winner of the Bill Butner Girls Championship race, uh, and obviously feeling really good about, about uh, the direction of where this team's headed uh, as they get ready for TRAC and Valley Championships and ultimately the state meet on November 30th. Coming over here uh, to a woman who has experienced uh, a lot of highs and lows uh, on, on this course today. Definitely a high for uh, Al. Just uh, what, what, what does this mean for you? What does this mean uh, for the group? Because obviously August and September has is, is been a journey. It's been a journey. So October 12th is a good day. Yeah, it was a great day. Um, I just am so thankful that even on my hard days, I know that the girls are here to pick me up. And I know that when I'm out there and it starts getting tough and I'm start feeling... I'm starting to feel a certain way, like I know that they would be um, right behind me, um, congratulating me, telling me how great I'm doing, and on, honestly, like I run for them, and so I'm just so happy that um, I was able to contribute, and I'm so proud of the girls today. Most definitely. Uh, uh, obviously, you know, everybody wants to be prisoners of one day and, and, and one race, you know, so whether, you know, you know, whether the group won at Woodbridge, whether the group finished, you know, Top five at Woodbridge, whatever. You still got to come out and run this race, and you got to run uh, all, all the others. But what do you think the group has learned about itself since then? Um, honestly, like we've tried some new things, like mainly just like flipping our mindset, making it fun. We get to do it instead of we have to. I know we all tend to put a lot of pressure on ourselves, but at the end of the day, like we're just here to run, and I think that we do a lot better when we're having fun and enjoying what we're doing. And so I think this is just a great step in the right direction. Awesome! Congratulations. Thank you. Hi, Taylor. Hi. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Uh, so just in terms of, uh, of the group, really just not worrying, you know, not worrying about uh, anything else or anybody else and just being the best version of, you know, these seven women being the best version of you can. And like, how significant was that in, in what transpired today? I think today was a really special day. I mean, we've been training for months just together, pushing each other, encouraging each other, supporting each other. And so the fact that we could come out here and not only work hard together, but have fun while doing it and just pulling off what we did. I'm so excited for us and I'm so proud of everyone. And I just think we can keep this momentum going. I know it sounds so simple for me to say, but just how meaningful is it when this group is whole, right? Because I know this group is as deep as any team in America, but there's a difference when it's this group and the group is whole. Like, what does that do for everybody's mind and everybody's heart? It feels so good. Like, just to know that we're all out here, all feeling confident, like, all supporting each other. Like, it's truly so special, and I'm so grateful to be a part of the team. Awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. Hi, Gabby. Hi. How are you? Good. Hi. Great. So, just in, in, in terms of this whether it was all the way back at Fleet Feet Summer Sizzle all the way to today, just the familiarity for this group on this course, the familiarity you know, uh, uh, for this group in terms of knowing when coaches are going to be, when reassurance is going to be, when support's going to be, like how, how, how big was that just in terms of the good energy for the group today? Yeah, when like the coaches come out, cheer for you, you're, you're, we're all working hard as a team, and you know, in team competitions, really good. So. Could, could you feel that in the, in the second and third mile? Yeah, working with each other every single way. Just pushing through it. Awesome. Great job. Introduce yourself. I'm Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Yep. Uh, so obviously we get them uh, t uh, together. So just in, in, in terms of uh, you know, the, the group understanding that no matter what's happened in, in, in August and September, it's like it, like it could be a fresh start and everything could really like be a catalyst for the rest of the season uh, today. Like just uh, how, how good was it? For, not just for you, but, uh, but for the whole group uh, uh, to kind of understand that it's like we're not going to be defined or you know or measured by anything that's happened before, but but we can be today and, and going forward. Like, uh, how important was that? Oh, I think it was very important, and I just love like in the course like seeing all my teammates around me and knowing that we were all pushing together and like going through it. Has it become like a, like a rhythm for for you now in terms of like? Stay, like staying connected with this group you feel like there's been enough races now you know yes. i mean i know like some races were only grade races but like the times that the group has been together not only in training but races do you feel like like the things are that need to be cohesive or cohesive now yes yeah, especially at practice too like doing workouts and like runs and everything which is always like really fun and like coming out and racing all like working together awesome great job thank you. molly congratulations Hi. thank you in terms uh, in, in terms of this group, you know, not being concerned uh, about, you know, uh, 
a turquoise kit, not being concerned about a black and gold kit, not being concerned about a, you know, a, a cardinal and gold kit, like just being concerned about red, white, and blue. Like you know, it just seemed like this group was just so locked in today. Like you know, no distractions, no you know, uh, you know no no ex external things uh, going on. Like d d did you feel that as the race was unfolding? Yes, definitely. I felt like very much. I was just looking for my teammates, trying to stick around them, trying to stick together, trying to encourage everybody around us, um, just to push and be our best and work together because that's when we do the best. We were always emphasizes, you know, that it, uh, even with some of the fastest women in the, in not just the history of this course, but in the United States in the race, it still is going to come down to the last mile. How uh, how proud were you? How like uplifted were you about how how like the, I mean, the group had already taken the, the lead based on the you know metaphorical scoring at the you know at the two mile mark or the two point one mile mark, but then you just continued to extend in the, uh, in, in the last mile and the last K. How uplifting was that? It was very uplifting. It was so fun just to see that. We can all push so hard the last mile and really give it our all, and that was just really encouraging to see how we all finished really strong. Awesome, great job, Molly. Thank you. Kinsley, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, in, in, in terms of this group, just really understanding patience, right? Like you, you've known it obviously since day one. Obviously now, you know Brooklyn and Gabby, Olivia, like you know, everybody they're experiencing it from day one. Just how. I mean, patience is always important, but especially for this group, right? Yes. Like, just to trust the process, trust you, know, trust e uh, trust each other. Like El said, like still keep it fun. It's a, it's a want to, not a have to. But how important is patience and all that? I think for this team, patience is very important because no matter what we, what's happened in the past with us, because we've had some ups and downs this season so far, but and like in the past, but um, I think just staying faithful and trusting in our training keeping it fun and like not putting too much pressure just seeing our teammates around us and remembering to work hard is key and just being patient through the process most definitely for as many valley championships you know state championships uh trac championships that this group has won when you welcome the best of the best to your backyard and as Avery's holding the plaque, says that this is the, you know, the best group when everybody comes to your backyard. I mean, heck, even in the boys' race, the best team from Oregon comes to your backyard because you know, uh, they know that that's you know like where they get to be evaluated at the highest level. How how much does this group like cherish that? You know that, that everybody wants to come to Buchanan's backyard and try to make a name for themselves. You know, I mean, uh, on your course. Yeah, so it's really cool that we have this course in our backyard. We can come here whenever we want to train and just be able to have the state meet here in valleys and everything. We're just really blessed to be able to have that. Awesome, great job. Thank you. And last but certainly not least, the great Avery Hutchison. Uh, what, I know it sounds so simple, but just for where this group is at right now, mentally, physically, emotionally, what does it mean for you and this group to be holding that plaque? I mean, it's amazing. Last season, we kind of had an off season and I think we all were just a little bit like we're trying our best and whatever and I think this is really a breakthrough race for us this season and it really just shows that what we're capable of and that we are one of these amazing teams to be out there and I think it's just really exciting. And also you ladies know from you know the, uh, the heartbreak that was experienced at, at State last year like just while all of you deserve to, to celebrate this and cherish this mm -hmm. because you put so much hard work into making it a reality that every that everything gets gets wiped away, yeah. you know. And the next time that you and Buchanan are, and and Santiago are in a race together, mm -hmm. like everything like, everything starts at zero, and we got to do it all over again. Yeah. Does that inspire and motivate the group that it's like, hey, like you know, just because we won Clovis, that doesn't give us you know any any time advantage, you know, when we come to the, to the state meet. But it, but this group likes challenges like that. So is is that something that inspires and motivates you in the group? Yeah, I think coming into Clovis as the underdog, it really helped us like be more motivated and I think that now that we won this I think it's just gonna give us more confidence going into state and league and valley so I think it's gonna be really good for us. Awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. Buchanan back on top uh, at the 45th A6 Clovis Invitational in the Bill Butner Girls Championship race. Ladies congratulations. Thank you.